welcome back to my channel if you're not new here, but if you're new, thanks for checking me out. I really appreciate it. On this channel, we love all things makeup, skincare, giveaways, unboxing. So if you, that's your thing, if you like that kind of stuff, then stick around. I would love to have you join part of our community. Today we're reviewing the ColourPop Wild Nothing collection. I got the entire collection. I have swatches. I have this eye look that I'm going to show you guys how I got and just my overall thoughts on the collection. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's where I make a lot of my announcements on giveaways. I'm also working with some content creators on creating little mini tutorials on Instagram and so I would love for you guys to be a part of that. So all my socials are down below in the description uh, to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all thems. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing what I think about this Wild Nothing ColourPop collection, then just keep watching. guys so ColourPop released the Wild Nothing collection this collection looked so aesthetically pleasing it was so beautiful it had like this little hippie uh, earthy desert vibe to it that I just absolutely loved when I saw um, I did notice that the palette was neutral and although I don't really lean towards neutrals I still wanted it because I thought overall it was such a fun collection um, I've recently started getting into ColourPop and I reviewed a couple of of the tie-dye collection palettes, the mini palettes, and I absolutely loved them, and so I wanted to try this one out. I will pop a picture here, but essentially the ColourPop collection consists of a palette, three blushes, we have four cream shadows, two jelly much shadows, and five blushes. Um, they all, like I said, looked very earthy, very natural, but overall very, very pretty. I picked up the entire collection, however, I will not be swatching it all, only because there were some shades in there, especially the two lighter cream shadows and one of the blushes that were just super, super light for me, and so I did offer those to a friend, so I'll be shipping those off to her after this video. Um, and so I didn't even wanna open them or touch them, but you know, I'll insert some swatches so that you can see. Let's start with the cream shadows. The two cream shadows that I kept were Moonbeam and Camouflage. Um, I th those were the two darker ones, and I thought, you know, I don't want to waste them. If they're too light for me, then why would I even dip my chubby little finger in there, right? So let me just show you a swatch of these. These are the. This is Moonbeam, which is the darkest in the foursome, and this is Camouflage. And I think that this would even be like a good eyeshadow base for me, but let me swatch that for you. This is what they look like. They're okay. They're good. I think this is a good like one and done, you know, if you're running out the door and, I mean, you know, sometimes we're so busy that I'll just grab like a cream shadow or something and I'm in the car just putting it on. So one and done looks, I think this could be good for. Like I said, they're not too extremely pigmented and. I'm not that dark. I'm medium skin tone with neutral undertone, so even here it doesn't look that pigmented. I like them. I think I saw Kathleen Lights use it as a cream shadow base and it didn't work. Like her lids were so sticky, so I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but you know, at first glance, it does kind of remind you of the Color Paint Pots by MAC. I just swatched them as you guys can see, and I'm like going over them, and they are budge. Proof. Like these things are not moving anywhere. I did swipe them on my eyelids um, just a little tiny bit when I got them. And I mean like hours and hours and hours later, I was still kind of like working my makeup removing balm into them. So they're like literally like life proof you guys, which I guess is a really good thing. I'm excited about that. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys was the Jelly Mud shadows. These were so cute, like they were so intriguing to me. I haven't even opened these, so I'm gonna swatch them in front of you as I speak. Oh, I have Mystical and I have Mojave, and those were the two that came with the collection. They do come with little plastic stoppers, not sure if you could see that, so that was a good touch because I think I heard people say they'll go everywhere. So this is what these look like. They've got like a little moussey consistency. Okay, here are the swatches with my chubby little fingers. This one's Mojave and this one is Mystical. Um, it does have like a, you know, metallic look, like an ethereal glow, there we go. Also think that this is a great shadow for a one and go type of situation. So I'll definitely use those. I am excited about the Jelly Munch shadows. 
Okay, with the collection, three blushes were released. I will put the three colors up here. Again, I don't wanna touch the third one because I'm sending that off to my friend. So um, I'll just swatch the two that I have and you can just pretty much gather the lighter one will look a little bit lighter. I just tried to get these off, by the way, with my makeup wipe. No luck, they're not coming off. So the first blush that we have is the Crossroads blush. That's the one that I'm actually wearing today. So let me give it a little swatch for you. And then the second blush that we have is On the Horizon, which is this really pretty like pinky color. And there are the colors there. Really pretty, really, really pretty. Like I said, I'm wearing one of them right now. They didn't release a highlighter, so what I have as a highlighter is my Super Shock highlighter in Flexitarian, so that's good. Okay, and now with these five lip oils, which in my opinion are the standout product from this collection. It's the one that I like the most. It's the one that I've heard people kind of hype up the most. So I'll just, I'll give you some swatches of those. So here are the swatches. We have them, they start here. You can't see it, but it's clear. And there you go. Really, really love the lip oil formula. It's very creamy, it's not sticky. It doesn't go away very easily, which I absolutely love. I love that. So I think, again, that's the standout product from the collection, in my opinion. Now, let's talk about the palette. I'm just a little annoyed. It's my fault that I'm this annoyed, but um, I think, you know, again, just being a new content creator, I am trying to get in on like the new releases so that I can bring you guys reviews before you go out and buy them. I wanna be able to give you my perspective. I always like to also look for content creators that had my skin tone so that I could decide if it would work for me or not. And so I bought the collection and then like literally days, like six days later, they had released a new collection, which was like the Garden Life collection or something. I'll pop it up here. And I was so annoyed instantly because the first thing that I heard about this palette was just how light and muted it was. It wasn't showing up on skin tones very much. Um, I can tell you that I have this look that I created. I mean, uh, it did come up, come out okay. I just had to really work at it. Like there's layers and layers and layers of these shadows on my eyes right now. And so, um, Again, it's a lesson learned for me. I just have to be careful when I buy things for review on what is actually going to work for me uh, because this is not a palette that I will reach for every single day. Um, that being said, I'm also happy that I picked it up just because I get to review it for you so that you can make a decision on whether or not it will work for you. Um, this is the palette. It looks really, really pretty in the promotional pictures. There you go. It looks really pretty in the promotional pictures. It looks really pretty here, but what I'm, can tell you that it just doesn't show up for me like at all. So I think that I'm going to swatch starting from here and then going across so that you can see what we're doing here, what it looks like. I like that there's no pressed glitters in the palette. I just think that, you know, they're in every single palette and it's not something that everybody reaches for every day. And yes, I know, I'm Yachty, I love glitters, but they're just, their glitter formula is not my favorite, I have to be honest. Like, it's just so chunky and, you know, whatever, there's fallout, which is fine, it's gonna happen. But um, I'm glad that there's no chunky glitter in this palette. Um, as you can see, you know, again, neutral palette with a pop of green there. We have some pretty toppers. Like these celestial shades are really making a big, big presence, I feel, right now. You know, Wayne Goss has them in, in he has one in his palette.
So we're trying out the blush here. The one I'm using is the Crossroads blush. It doesn't really show up too much. It's not too pigmented. You definitely have to build it up. I guess that's my thoughts like on the overall collection. Like I honestly don't think it's brown girl friendly to be honest. That's where some of my frustrations coming from. Just it's not something that I'm gonna run to because I feel like it just works so beautiful on my skin, you know? For highlight, I'm gonna go in with, with one of the Super Shock sh highlighters. This is Flexitarian. This is not part of the collection. It's just a highlighter that I had. I like the Super Shock formula. Um, I think it's pretty, especially in the shadows, of course. That's, I think, what made ColourPop what it is today and grow a little bit there, a little bit there on the chin. Bloop. There we go. Okay, now I'm like a blinding mess. That's okay, because like you know, glitter and shimmer all day, every day. For the lips, I think I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bumble. This is so pretty. I'm gonna go in with this Casual Dress, which is one of the velvet lipsticks. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Lip Oil Playa Vista. I think that's pretty. Final thoughts. I mean, you guys, just like I said at the beginning, ColourPop is a brand that I really love in general. I just started dabbling in them, just in that brand a couple months ago. Um, I like that they're affordable. I like that they're accessible to all types of beauty enthusiasts. Um, I just, I don't think this collection was 100% for me. Um, I think that, you know, I want to be able to review this kind of stuff so that when I bring it to you on my skin tone, you can see what that would look like. So in terms of reviewing for you, I'm happy that I picked it up. In terms of like everyday use for me, I just don't think that I'll be grabbing for everything in this collection. I can tell you that the one thing that is a really standout for me that I love are these lip oils. Obviously, they've been, I think, the hit of the collection. Still very happy that I was able to do this for you. Um, you know, it was okay. I'm kind of mad because with the garden collection that came out the week after, like this week as we're speaking, um, I think that would would have been something that I would have reached for a little bit more. But you know, whatever, at least I reviewed it for you. I just picked up my Tiny Marvels palette, so yay me. That review's coming up soon. So thanks again for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did you pick up the collection? Are you loving it? Um, if you waited, you know, check out the stuff that's still available. There's a new collection, the Garden Collection, that I think is a better fit for skin tones like mine. But anyway, thanks again. See you guys next time. Bye.